The Dark Web, a mysterious place where people buy drugs, hitmen, stolen electronics, download creepy games, and much, much more. Is the Dark Web this super scary, mysterious place people claim it to be? Is it worse? Is the Dark Web the Deep Web? Today you will learn why everything you've heard about these terms is likely skewed, and why they are actually an extremely important part of the internet. Let's start with some definitions to get our discussion started. The deep web refers to any website or web page that isn't indexed by search engines. A simpler way to think about this is a web page you can't access by searching on Google, DuckDuckGo, Yahoo, or any other search engine. One of the most frequent types of sites that fall under this category, which most of you use several times a day, is logging into any type of personal account. Anytime you log into your social media accounts, bank, email, or anything else that requires a login which someone can't access by just having a link to, is the deep web. Some other common examples of the deep web are any journals or scientific studies that aren't available to the general public. So hey there. Are you logged into your YouTube account right now? Because if you are, you're using the deep web. As you can probably already tell, there are several misconceptions behind this spooky term, which we will cover more in depth very soon. But before that, let's cover another definition. The Tor network or the Onion Router network is a group of servers that improves your privacy and security on the internet. Normally without Tor, you directly connect to a website like techlore.tech. Tor will obscure this connection by adding nodes and the nodes periodically change without disruption to you. So unless your entry point and exit point become associated, your connection is considered anonymous because of the difficulty required to backtrack in such a short span of time. So what is this technology used for? Well, it allows you to circumvent censorship in countries that block you from accessing websites, it allows journalists to post in repressive regimes, gives law enforcement the power to go undercover, gives the ability to leave truly anonymous tip lines, gives support for activists and whistleblowers, and obviously it can be used like many of you in our community to improve your privacy and security. Since Tor is such a powerful tool, it is used for criminal activities, but it's important to understand that there is an enormous amount of good that Tor does and we can't let the bad side ruin its reputation. You can utilize Tor today by using free products like the Tor Browser Bundle, I have guides on how to set that up, or for a better alternative, you can use an operating system built around Tor like Tails OS or Hoonix. I'll cover all of these in a future video, so make sure to subscribe to keep up with future content. But. Why does Tor matter for this video? The dark web is any website that requires a user to be utilizing the Tor network to access the site. Typically, sites with this requirement have the TLD or top level domain of .onion instead of .com, .org, or other common TLDs. For example, normally you would access Facebook.com. This has no requirement to access outside of having a working internet connection and no suspicious activity coming from your system. But Facebook does have an Onion site found at this link, which will add the requirement of you utilizing the Tor network to circumvent censorship in countries who block Facebook.com. There are other websites like ProPublica, DuckDuckGo, SciHub Database, and Keybase that all have Onion sites meaning when you access these websites, you're technically on the dark web. First, people use these two terms interchangeably when they mean two entirely different things. Second, the deep web is utilized by almost every person on the internet. It ensures that your data belongs to you. It's a fundamental function of how the web works. Third, the dark web is not necessarily this evil place people commonly think of. There is a genuine use case for sites that require Tor. The dark web is a name popularized by governments and the media to make people associate it with this dark mysterious place that's created for criminals. Is your personal information already being traded on the dark web? Find out with Experian. It only takes a few minutes and we start looking out for you right away. 
We use proprietary technology to scan hundreds of millions of transactions every second to see things like your information on the dark web, online payday lending, 401k and investment accounts. And I found this folder, it was hidden. And it automatically connects you to this thing. Dude, this is dark web. What's dark web? Part of the internet where no one can track you. It's all about drugs, illegal IDs, even assassination for hire. Hey, yeah, the dark net is messy about the bag. This is why, if you follow me on Reddit, I called for a rename of the dark web. Because all the name does is pollute the public perception of Tor. Here's a simple new name that I created, the private web. I encourage you to start using this as the new name for any website that utilizes the .onion domain, since that is what it was created for, privacy. If you want to get more details on how to start using Tor and how to use it properly, that's equally important, to regain your privacy and security on the internet, make sure to watch the guides I currently have, and definitely make sure to keep up with Go Incognito, the course I'm putting together right now, teaching you everything you need to know about privacy, security, and anonymity online. Just like the, the shirt says. It is currently being rolled out and it's entirely free to view. I'll leave a link to it below. Remember, your privacy is important. There's a reason it's protected in both the US Constitution and the National Declaration of Human Rights. We must fight for it and tools like Tor are an excellent way for us to accomplish this. That is all I have to say. Remember to join our community on our platforms and make sure to give this video a giant like and subscribe to see any future videos. Thank you for watching. Remember to join our community and have a lemuricious day.